सारे ऑन हो गए हम दोनों को वाह ये दोनों सारे ऑन हो गए हेलो हेलो कैमरा मूव कर लो दोस्त अब सब रिकॉर्ड हो रहा है मौज मस्ती के साथ हम आ चुके हैं Hello there my name is Anshuman and you're watching your favorite channel on visual merchandising and retail display and today I am not making this video alone I have somebody else in this studio with me and I would like to welcome Mr Pranav Dikshit who is a good friend and also a visual merchandiser like I told you earlier that I would be inviting some industry expert to this show and today is the day so Pranav I would like to welcome you to Thank the you show so much, namaskar <laughs> okay with applause so yes uh, prano is a visual merchandiser because it is a show about visual merchandising and retail so we would like to prano before we begin and before we come to the journey uh, why don't you tell us about your background why don't you tell us that from where you belong and a bit about yourself to your, about your personal life so basically i belong from lucknow till 2006 i was there and post that i had pursued my graduation from nif mm. uh from 2007 to 11 and since then like i had started my industry experience is almost 12 uh, 11 to 12 years so now it's like i'm a profound visual merchandiser okay okay with an experience of 11 years <laughs> <laughs> 11 years of ex- yeah. experience in the industry okay so prano what course you pursued and how come you landed up being a vm bit about that that's a quite an interesting journey like uh, when i was in school at that point of time <coughs> it was like mba bba these are the things you know which were like more into the market because the entire shift was towards that and i was from bio, uh, bio. so i am more inclined ki i have to do biotechnology 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 but somehow i think my brother got get this notion ki you know ये नहीं हो सकता तू ये कर मे बी ही हैड सीन समथिंग लाइक अर्लियर आई यूज टू कीप ऑन स्केचिंग एंड वन समथिंग सो ही ब्रिंग दैट फॉर्म एंड दैट एंटायर प्रोसेस गोज ऑन एंड आई डोंट नो कि मेरा सिलेक्शन कैसे हुआ बट इट जस्ट हैपन सो व्हिच निफ्ट डिड यू गो अ निफ्ट कलकत्ता निफ्ट कलकत्ता एंड दिस इज व्हिच ईयर व्हिच यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट 2007 Two thousand seven, and you did uh, three year course. No, it's a there. four years. Four course. years course. It's a bachelor degree course. Bachelor, bachelor degree of course. design. So you did bachelor of design. Yeah. And <coughs> and uh, what was your uh, the core areas uh, in fashion designing? You did. Yeah, it's a like my specialization is fashion designing. Hmm. So basically, initially, the first year is like everything they will teach you everything so that you have a basic knowledge. Hmm. But uh, from second year, it comes like specialization things. so then we come on to ki you know you are from fashion designing then it's a different way so you get into the core ki what fashion designing is what the process is the mindset behind the garment okay and or okay. the story line okay so that was quite an exciting process uh, as like uh, though college life is something you know jo ki bahut exciting hoti hai because aap sirf padhai nahi karte exactly still so like while you were doing uh, this course what was there in your mind because i'm sure visual merchandising was not something which somebody can thought of that at that point of time it was not existing even in lot of brands yeah. were coming up in india and uh, requirement for designers and this these jobs were getting uh, you know more traction mm-hmm. so what did you want to do once once you were towards the you know completion of your course so what you wanted to do so as the my degree states fashion designer so that was the idea you know one day i'll be a designer mm. i'll work on the design and the entire like i love the concept of brainstorming it's like when you are creating something there is an entire thought process mm. it's not just a normal random garment mm. which has been produced mm-hmm. so there is a garment so definitely my idea was ki you know i want to be a successful designer one day though now i'm not but still so overall when i had learned that post that when i joined like after college it's like i had joined the brand where i was working as an assistant man assistant uh, designer so i was uh, into the formal designing it was a retail brand yeah it was a retail brand okay, okay. so it's like more on to the formal things like entire formal shirt and all so i was very much into that like before while joining after college but then it comes a boredom you know because i knew key what the process is and that was the time this comes because 
that was the time when vm was growing in india it's 2011 2011 so that uh, in that tenure it's like newly uh, like recently came everything is like new ski it's booming it's booming but while designing the merchandise and after that you know creating a story planning for that retail uh, brand it was like something you know which engaged me ki wow this is something different which i am doing so i that difference in between these two i think that has attracted me towards Because vm ha like as i said earlier it's a process before any merchandise which is ready or a collection which is on floor there is a thought process Sim- similarly it was for visual merchandising when i had done it first so initially at that point of time all the large format retailers used to have visual merchandise so if you don't know what a large format retail store is it's a big retail store more than i think 10000 square feet of area so any store which is bigger than that you can call it a large format retail store so you can have like we have multiple formats of retail stores <coughs> we have a small formats we have large formats mm. large, small formats as the names are just are the smallest stores and that's how it goes so large format retail store we are talking about so uh, the first brand which you were working was a large format no But there was second brand the, the second as brand. a visual merchandising yes the first brand was pantaloons mm. where i was working mm. and i think as a uh, like when you are starting your career in visual merchandising it's very much required you to be on large format retail stores be on floor explore because the learning comes from there so prano uh, you said like you have worked with how many brands have you worked with in total five five retail brands yeah. uh, and in a to- time span of uh, 11 years yeah okay that's that's great so i think a lot of knowledge of vm like i think i'm sure that these brands have different set of experiences which you have acquired and a different learning what is your key learning which you think is very crucial for being a visual merchandiser i think it's adaptability and man you know manage things mm-hmm. because uh, there is something which you need to deliver okay. so d- delivery needs to be on time execution needs to be on time your con- uh, communication to the vendor Mm. is very important your mm. communication to to your within the team is very important mm-hmm. okay okay and uh, can you recall any funny incident or very memorable incident which you would like to share with us it could be like we have worked together so there were lot of instances that we had long you know long stays and we did job overnight and <laughs> those those were the moments but anything which you can recall so for more than like uh, we are going to the funny let's go to the fun part that we you know, both had had multiple of times like beat the setup chai sell in so chai store setup ho store opening so there were mm. like it's a great experience you know ki entire team is working around with that entire team fun it's like a team bonding thing how individually it's a different thing but when you when you are on floor with the team there is a fun banter there is a serious work yes. there is are like deadlines which you need Dead. to cover lot of pressure but you find your funny moments in <laughs> yeah. in between so whenever we open a store or whenever you know uh, we plan to do some change over in the store it is required that visual merchandisers work overnight or maybe couple of days like continuously so that is the time duration which you have to extend if you are planning to become a visual merchandiser i think that is something which prano would also agree that comes yes you need patience you have to you know be on floor if if your job whenever it's required to your job then you have to be there mm-hmm. like don't restrict ki nahi yaar mujhe nahi hoga so that mindset is very much required and it's fun to work at night like rather than if i'll compare to work at during day times okay so that's like that's my core area ke mujhe to bada maza aata hai hmm. okay so i have another question here for you so what is the biggest challenge uh, you see which vms face today the challenge is something i'll say digitalization mm-hmm. is something which, which uh, as a which is a challenge for entire vm community because the world is getting digitalized hmm. so the our uh, our work towards that like pehle hum window banate the hmm. we put some effort on windows that is getting cut down hmm. so and the entire thing is digital and now vm is all about to you know maintain the in store look and feel hmm. earlier jo window pe hum element karte the jis tarah ka effort dalte the that is missing so i think that is the essence. basically window is an essence for visual merchandising yes, and yes, that yes, is something yes. missing and that is the biggest challenge for as a community to the visual merchandising okay 
let's see some more questions so what is the best part of being a visual merchandiser i think the best part i will say ki you know I, as i said earlier you know someone has designed a 2d design and you are now implementing it in a 3d way which can relate to the customer and customer can feel they can uh, they can get educated about the product so that is the best part you know ki executing someone's idea in a way ki you know that is talking to the third person hmm. and making our normal consumer to our customer that's one you know which i like about it Okay. that connectivity basically in between retail stores and customer and i am the bridge of that basically. okay okay and there is some other so there is there is another question and uh, so you set up stores you know right yeah. you make everything right and then you of course you might want to shoot that store and one once a store is set what do you feel like there are a lot of props there are a lot of mannequins which is the biggest threat to disturb the display inside this store when when some customer comes in and you know he browse through the sections what mm. do you feel what is the feeling and that that i want to know <laughs> uh, if i'll be honest uh, like once you had done the shoot and all then it's not a concern then we are happy you know some <laughs> that you have documented huh. your work <laughs> <laughs> it's been documented plus like the sale is there hmm. but when uh, like while doing the setup and customer comes in then definitely it's like a quite of kyu aa gaya abhi nahi aa raha to and in that between feeling. photos also customers keeps on walking it's yeah. not like like because customer is the it has no god so for sure but yeah sometimes it yeah, as a visual merchandiser it, you get it agitate as a visual merchandiser ki you know you are doing the photo shoot and people are seeing it ke you are clicking something but still they will come so that is something which is you know that irritates you but nowadays like uh, the recent i think generation, people are more aware today yeah they are very aware and they are supportive they stay they they stop and they, they stop. Uh, stop people also can wait the picture is getting clicked so that is something the awareness is there but yeah it it seems it is very uh, frustrating ki koi beech mein aata hai <laughs> now this is something is, is which is a internal joke would you also like to talk about that notorious kid that <laughs> <laughs> वो तो दिल्ली में खौफ है हमारा दे इज अ किड हु कीप्स ऑन विजिटिंग द स्टोर्स एंड कीप ऑन डैमेजिंग द विजुअल मर्चेंडाइजिंग प्रॉप्स मैनिक्विंस एंड प्रॉप्स डोंट आस्क वन डे द रिसेंटली द दिस एक्सपीरियंस माय स्टोर टीम हैज यू नो द किड केम एंड ही वाज जस्ट ट्राइंग टू कम अप टू द टुवर्ड्स दैट ग्लास रियली इन सीपी स्टोर ओके एंड एट अ मोमेंट तो वी आल्सो गेट वेरी स्कैर्ड यू नो व्हाट वाज ही ट्राइंग टू डू He is just trying to pass it by. कि मुझे drilling के उस तरफ जाना है. Okay. It's a kid thing. Okay. Okay. On on the on the first floor, there is a glass yeah. railing, and she, he wanted to jump from yes. that railing. Oh. And plus, अगर जब उसको मना कर दिया, he had just pushed the mannequin. Oh. In. That is something. But it's a kid <laughs> thing, so like nobody can say it. Hmm. Still, that is pretty much frustrating. <laughs> so that would be my last question. After that, we can have more discussions if you want mm-hmm. to ask me anything. Anything. Well. So what is a tip which you would like to give to the people who want to become a visual merchandiser and these days people uh, like keep on asking uh, me a lot of questions about it how uh, the role is how is the industry and what are the ways w- you can be a visual merchandiser you don't need not to explain that to me but what is a general tip which you can give to the visual merchandisers who have just started their career in vm and they want to you know develop as a vm some some tip so the only tip is be patient hmm like what happens when you come into the retail you are new to the industry and retail is not an easy industry to you know cope in certain so you have to be patient you you have to learn and prove yourself then you can lead so over the period of time you know when you spend certain time on floor or in visual merchandising you learn the tactics hmm initially when you are a newbie then definitely you are you have a certain idea hmm. which is good from college but retail work and professional life is totally different so it's like be patient be a good observer hmm. observe everything and then react before reacting you know first thought ki what you are reacting and be creative hmm that's the core thing creativity yeah okay So that was Pranav Dikshit, a proud visual merchandiser. And if you like to know more about him, you can follow him on LinkedIn yeah. or maybe Insta. 
so his linkedin handle and insta handle is in the description you can check out that and with this we'll take your leave and we'll see you in another exciting episode of what i have not decided it yet but keep watching visual merchandising with anshuman we'll keep on bringing more videos on vm and we'll have more such discussions maybe we would also like to go and explore a retail store in in coming sure. video